quarantine experience for me um, has been a great experience. Um, like kind of you touched on it before. Um, I feel like it's given us a lot of the time to do some of the things that we've always been thinking about or um, the way I've been looking at it is because I, I came into this year as we should every year, but you know, me dropping my first EP coming into this year, I, I already kind of had a different approach to it, even myself. I created a process, you know, how I, what I thought needed to be done within my team and things like that. Um, so it's, it's given me the time to just follow through on the things that I've already been kind of working on. So that's kind of been my position in this quarantine uh, time frame that we're in. Uh, when it comes to music, it's, yeah, it's given me time to finish uh, some songs. Also, um, I am I am one of those creatives. I am an artist, so I definitely feel the overrush of just energy on the planet right now. And in, in all senses, there's good and bad. There's just a lot of everything going on right now. But me being being the career that I am and with the life that I have been given, you know, and chosen at the same time, it's my duty to be as real with myself so that we can continue to have conversations like this. And so that you can, so when you hear the, and I'm, you're smart, man. I appreciate like the way you're asking these questions too, because like you said, oh, you feel a lot more soul in the music. And a lot of people be like, oh, well, it's not soul music. And it's like, nah, whenever it could be a pop song, it'd be a bluegrass song. But if you're hearing that artist or that musician really sing or play their truth or write what they're experiencing at this time, um, people re don't realize all the time that the things that resonate aren't even the story sometimes it's the fact that you're even telling something so personal that resonates with people and um yeah it's just it's been that for me and i've just been trying to be a a mirror my this this whole time and it's like if i if i can't if i can't see myself correctly in this moment let me stand in front of somebody and let them see themselves in me because i'm just being as honest as i can be and um yeah that's, that's what it's been i i actually don't know as much as maybe one would think I do about online and social things. I am an influencer. I haven't my biggest platform is Instagram, you know what I'm saying? So it's assumed that I that I really focus on that. I have people on my team and uh, graphic designers, my PR, David on here, certain things that help that actually help me with the social side of things. Um, I think the best way that I have shifted my business is not focusing on the social media so much. Um, I already do so much writing behind the scenes, a lot of producing behind the scenes. And um, because everything was shut down and Dana as the artist has to stay alive and thriving and all things like that, it, uh, I, I, I didn't stress myself on putting Dana Vaughn's, the artist, the this, so out there because I needed to, I needed to hone in on what I was doing. Um, so I feel like that's the way I've been able to maneuver through the businesses, try to low-key take over behind the scenes before the people even see necessarily what's going on on the outside and and that's my whole life and even it's on the outside the clothes i'm wearing what i'm saying or where how you even get my music is is an example of what i've been doing internally you know if you want to say within my body or just with my team and or behind the scenes i'm just trying to go inside out if that makes sense and um definitely yeah that that it's, it's, it's funny because yeah people are like oh how are we going to change this like honestly i'm going i'm going i'm going farther back I feel like the the truth of everything and like and how and how to get to the center of things is going back. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for me, it's as simple as that. Even though we're in such a new social media time and this and that, like, if I continue to write these songs, write good songs for those artists that we're talking about, do things like that, then there's 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 honestly no way for somebody not to give me a layup. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm out here just trying to promote Dana Vaughn's Dana Vaughn's music, da 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 da. I already believe in something bigger, so it's it's a disservice to myself and my fans for me to just continuously pushing my own things forward. Um, so I just I've been attacking it like that, realizing that I'm still as powerful as I am, even if I don't just put all my my energy into me. That is still me who is doing this work, um, and that's how I've been adjusting, busting my tail for a long time. And it's just uh, I'm, I'm feel like I'm starting finally to not even for me, but. You know, I've just been diligent and people are starting to feel how I feel kind of on an everyday basis, even when they hear my music or whatever. So, yeah, just know that my new music is coming. It is charged up with all the stuff that I've been talking about for the last 45 minutes on this interview. You might not even hear one of the words I said on this interview in this music, but just know that was the headspace and the in the, the the place of my heart when I when I recorded these songs and, and made this music. Um, Stay tapped in with me. I got a lot of cool things about to about to start happening once again. Um, I'm building up a lot a lot more content, gearing up for this EP, um, photo shoots. I'm getting the cover art together. Um, 
if you follow any of your favorite artists, you know it, it's go time. It's about to be that time for me again, very much out there posting things, songs, all that. Um, and before I even get started and the rest of the world gets back on it, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to tuning into this. And beyond anything, just thank yourself more because you need to be thinking. People got to really, like, I, I have reached a new level of self-love. Like, I treat myself so so well and these last six months have uh, taught me that i can even do it even better and um that would just be my my parting message is learn how to do you better and you don't have to go figure out nothing else you got it all you know what i'm saying so even with this next this next ep i was actually even just excited to have the word hip-hop in your in your outlet's name because it's like yo like that's the music i really am making you know what i'm saying like it is hip-hop music so not on the last album, but this one. So get ready to turn up, go crazy, and uh, find somebody to love. You know what I'm saying?